What's up, YouTube? I'm here to do my prediction video for UFC Fight Night and Ganu vs. Blades. Let's start at the bottom. The first fight is Louis Smoka vs. I'm not gonna lie, I cannot say this dude's name. Sundarji? I think that's the closest thing. Uh, Sundarji looks like he's a good striker, but I think oh, his overall game is not as good as Louis's. I think that he's probably the better striker overall, but. Like I said, I feel like if Lewis can get this to the ground, I think he's just a much better grappler overall, and I think that's what's going to happen. I'm leaning towards Lewis. I say he gets it to the ground in the first round and wins by submission. Next is Kevin Holland versus John Phillips, and this is just like the last fight. John Phillips is a great striker, and uh, his takedown defense is okay, but I don't think it's good enough to stop Kevin Holland from getting him there. Kevin Holland's got great guillotines and great rear naked chokes, and that's just what I see happening in this fight. I think it'll be back and forth kind of on the feet, but eventually Kevin Holland gets the takedown and wins by submission, probably in the first. Next we got Louis Ping Young versus Martin Day, and this all depends on how much better Martin Day's uh, takedown defense has gotten since his first fight in that Dana White looking for a fight thing. I think that his overall game is better. I think his striking and jiu-jitsu is better, but I think Louis has the much better wrestling, and he could grind this out if he wanted to. Um, it's hard for me to go against Martin Day just because he's from Hawaii. Like Realistically, I think Louis has a good enough wrestling to hold him down and grind him out, but I'm just hoping that Martin's work on his takedown defense since that Dana White looking for a fight thing. And like I said, I definitely think he's the much better striker, and I think that as long as this is on the feet, he, he should be able to edge out Louis, and I think he might win a close decision. So I got Martin Day. Next we got Jan, I can't say this chick's last name, versus Suri Kondo. And these two chicks are basically striker wrestlers, but I'm just, I just feel Jan's better. Um, a lot of these chicks, you know, it's hard to tell because I haven't seen them fought the upper echelon of chicks, but the what I've seen so far, a lot of these Chinese chicks look really good, so I'm just leaning towards Jan. Next we got Zong, I can't say her last name, versus Jessica Aguilar. And same thing, I think her striking and wrestling is just better than Jessica Aguilar's uh, takedown game. I think she keeps on the feet and just kind of pushes her against the fence and grinds out a decision. So I got Zhang winning by decision. Next we got Hyo Yang Zhou versus Rashad Coulter. And, you know, I'm glad to see Hyo move down to light heavyweight. He didn't look like a big heavyweight for a Chinese dude. He looked like a small heavyweight. And um, I'm, because of that, I'm leaning towards him. I think Rashad's probably a little bit better wrestler, but I think Hyo is better suited for this weight class. I think Rashad is probably going to gas. He always gasses, and I think this weight cut's not going to help him. He did. He's not a huge heavyweight, but he's kind of a big fat guy, you know, like Daniel Cormier. So I don't think this weight cut's going to be very easy if he makes it at all. Um, like I said, I'm leaning towards uh, Hugh. I think that this is the better weight class for him. I think he's going to look better at this weight, and I say he wins by TKO probably late in, like, the third round. Next, we got Wu Young Yang versus Lauren M Mueller, and I'm just leaning towards Wu. Like I said, a lot of these women's flyweights at China, it's it's hard to make good picks on them just because I haven't seen them. F like I said, without seeing them fight the really good people, I feel like they're just feeding them easy wins. That's the best way to put it. And I feel like their wrestling striking games are all really solid, and until I see them fight top 15 people, it's really hard to tell how good they actually are, but... Against these lower level people, I think they're going to win pretty easy, so I'm leaning towards Wu. I say she wins a unanimous decision. Next we move on, it's Keenan Song versus Alex Morono, and this is going to be a striking fight for as long as it lasts. I think Alex Morono's definitely got an advantage on the ground if it goes there, but I just don't see that happening. I think Keenan's got good enough takedown defense to keep this on the feet, and I think both these guys prefer to strike. I'm leaning towards Keenan. I think he just has more punching power. I think Morono's slightly more technical. And if this goes to the decision, I could see Alex maybe edging out a decision, but I don't think it goes there. I think this stays on the feet the whole time this fight lasts, and I think Keenan lands a knockout shot probably at like the very end of the second round. Next, we got Lee Jing Leung versus David Zawada. And to me, David's really good. I think that his overall game is super solid. I think that this is probably going to be fight of the night. I think that striking, grappling, you know, we're going to see everything in this fight, and I think it's going to be super close. I think. Lee's got the better power and the better wrestling, but I think David's got a uh, higher volume and better overall technique. I also think his jiu-jitsu is better than Lee's is. But like I said, I think this fight's going to be super close the whole fight. Um, but I do see Lee just edging this one out. I think that he's a little bit bigger and his wrestling's a little bit better, so I think he'll get the takedowns to edge out the rounds. And um, like I said, I think this will be a split decision fight of the night, but I think it's going towards Lee. Next, we got Song Yadong versus uh, Vince Morales. And 
Vince Morales looks like a fun just striker with like some decent jujitsu, and Song Yudong just looks like like I don't see this fight going to the ground at all. I think Song's takedown defense is way too strong, and um, I think this is gonna be a striking fight for as long as it lasts. But I think Song just has is just the much physically stronger guy. I think he's gonna be able to push Vince around wherever he wants. I mean, if Vince catches him, then that's one thing. But I just don't see that happening. I think Song is just the stronger, faster guy, and I just see him lining up Vince and eventually winning by TKO probably in like the second round, either from striking or like he'll get a takedown and just beat him up on the ground. Next we got Alistair Overeem versus Sergey Pulfovich. And to me, Sergey is a solid undefeated striker. He's 12-0 and 0 with like 9 or 10 knockouts. But I just don't think he's at Alistair's level. Like as undefeated as he is, um, I just think Alistair Overeem is better. I mean, Alistair Overeem is one of those guys where if you can get out of the first round, you're probably going to knock him out. But if you can't survive that early, like, you know, blitz kind of. And, like, even though he, he's better pacing himself now, like, the way he sh strikes is just, like, these fast blitzes. And I just don't see that happening. I think Alistair's striking is just too good. I think that he's going to hit Sergey with one of those blitzes and win by knockout in the first round. Um, finally, we got Francis Ngannou versus Curtis Blades. And to me, I feel like Curtis Blades is on a huge upswing. I mean... His biggest problem will always be that he's super hittable, and that's going to fuck him over sooner or later. Like, at heavyweight, the way he gets hit, he's just lucky he's good at, get, at recovering. Like, in all honesty, there's so many fights where I've seen him get rocked. It's like, like I said, like, his, his, his clock's running out. Like, sooner or later, someone's going to catch that bastard. And I just don't think it's going to be this fight. Francis Ngannou, to me, um isn't showing as much upward potential as Blades is. I think Blades is getting much better with his overall striking, and I think he's getting better at mixing his striking into his takedowns. Before, it was just shooting with no real striking, and now there's actual a mix, and I think that's how, why he's on such a great win streak right now. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I just don't see Curtis, um, you know, getting caught. Like, I mean, he could get caught, but I just feel like realistically this fight's going to be like the Stipe fight if not more one-sided, because I think Curtis is probably overall a better wrestler than, than Stipe is. Like, Stipe is the better fighter, but Curtis is probably the better wrestler. And I feel like we're going to see him mix in the takedowns of the striking better, unlike when he fought him the first time, and it was just him shooting from really far out, and that's why Francis was able to time him better. I don't think he'll be able to time them as well. Like, Francis could catch him at any point. He's got that one-punch knockout power, and, you know, like I said, Curtis does kind of shoot far out sometimes, and Francis good with that uppercut, but I just don't see that happening. I think Curtis is just going to grind Francis out for five rounds and win by unanimous decision. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe.